it is late fall, most of the leaves have fallen on the grounds, and there is quite a wind. The swimming pools have not been used in several months, they are drained, and the bottoms are mossy and dark. Leaves blowing past it, we don't see the button men, only a hint of someone in the gatehouse. Some of the houses have had the summer awnings taken down and put away. Some of the windows have been boarded up. There are still the guard dogs, some sleeping, some moving impatiently. The peninsula of the private Corleone Harbor. We see the figures of two people, seated at a table. Michael sits at a table having a sparse lunch. He is attended by his sister Connie, who seems to be the closest person now living on the estate with him. We see from the way she pampers him with his lunch that she has fallen into the role of a surrogate mother-wife. He seems older than his years, as though his illness, diabetes, has taken its toll. Don't worry, I'm sure he got here on time. The roads from the airport are so windy, it takes forever, I've driven them myself. She picks up some of the serving plates that he has left untouched. I'll bring him out to you as soon as he comes. She moves back to the main house. He turns and looks at the rough water of the lake for a moment. He slowly takes a sip of wine. There are a few chairs in the garden. An 18 years old Anthony Corleone appears. Hello, Dad. Squinting up at his son. Anthony. He rises and reaches up to his son, who is now taller than he, he embraces him. You've grown so tall, so tall in the last year. You're much taller than me. I was taller than you when I was 14. Sit down. Your Aunt Connie and I waited for you to have some lunch, but now it's all dried out. I'm not hungry. Well, that's all right, all right. Good. You'll graduate in another year, isn't that right? You know, I never finished college. I was a good student, but I never finished. Of course, there was a war then. Connie approaches to them. Don't let me interrupt anything, this will just take a second. Here. She takes out a small needle and begins to prepare it, your father has to have his insulin shot. Why don't you go to your room and put your things away, Anthony? She begins to give Michael the shot. Hurry back, we'll talk. We'll talk. Anthony goes on his way to the house with his things. Connie gives Michael the shot. Whenever I see that lake so cold, I think of poor Frito, drowned. Lake Tahoe is very cold. They say if a person drowns in it, that the body will remain mid-suspended, perfectly preserved. Some say it will remain forever. She finishes the shot, puts her things away. Your boy will be right back. She leaves.